and if you're interested in internet governance you will uh, you know you will learn a lot so karibuni sana um try and read it for your own good and then we also look forward to even engaging you after this process thank you so much gigi before you leave i think we've just told guys this is gigi but it's important for uh, our class to know who gigi is gigi can you introduce yourself properly <laughs> oh okay uh so um i convened the kenya ict uh network um i will put my camera on the day of the opening that day i will have woken up early and and uh changed um so i i convened the kenya ict uh network and uh uh, I don't know what else you've been told, but apart from that, I am a researcher uh, in this area. Uh, I tweaked some time back, otherwise, um, you know, I trained as a journalist. Uh, I also host a show on KBC called Take on Tech, and I see, um, I see Stephanie Ayeta, who is uh, an assistant in that program, assistant producer. So yeah, what else? I'll say more the next time. I think we'll mention it off that. Gigi, Gigi is, is not saying that she's the lady of this event, but uh, Gigi, <laughs> we let you <laughs> face beat uh, next time. <laughs> yeah, Karibuni Sana. Judy, maybe thank we can you. also give house rules that when somebody is not speaking, they pick up their microphone so that we don't uh, we don't we don't hear default mode. <laughs> yes, please. And uh, uh, our Judy, request, Judy, yes, please, yes, please allow me. I have seen my classmates okay. in this uh, in this uh, meeting. Okay. Uh, Maria Mbeneka, shout out. Uh, really nice seeing you after so many years uh, and looking forward to engage. Hi, Gigi. It's such a pleasure to see you as well. And thanks for having me. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> karibuni, karibuni, karibuni sana. I will request that please um, sign in with both your names so, so that uh, we can be able to take record oh. of that so that we know who joined into this session and who did not because that um, at the end of it, is part of um, the assignment that we are doing. And just before I hand it to Kelvin, um, the teacher that I am, I have to give you an assignment. Um, when I first got into internet governance, what uh, triggered me was the governance part. You know, I mean, we know that governance is about uh, being led. It's about uh, leadership. It's about being ruled. So when I got in, I was wondering who is this who's ruling the internet? So my assignments for you today is what is governance in your mother tongue? What is governance in your mother tongue? Over to you, teacher Karis. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, Judy. Uh, do you expect them to do the response on the, on the chat? or how are they going to respond to that assignment? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> okay, Thank I'm you. hoping to see their responses. Amazing, amazing. Thank you very much, our convener, Kiktanet, Gigi. Uh, thank you, Rosemary. Thank you, Judy. Thank you, my senior, Walu. And thank you to all the participants for joining in, Ali. I'm Kelvin Kariuki, and I'll be taking you through our online uh, management system learning management system. Okay, so I'm also an alumni of uh, uh, the Kenya School of Internet Governance, a proud alumni, and uh, I'm glad that uh, Kiktanat and KSIG has continued to engage me since the first time I went through this particular training. So I hope you'll also benefit from it and even be engaged further beyond just the training. Uh, this year, just like last year, the training is going to be virtual. Uh, the content is quite interactive and has been designed by our very own uh, Mr. John Walubengo. So I hope you're going to enjoy it. Uh, during the uh, previous CASIGs, uh, this particular training has been held in uh, hotels uh, like the Intercontinental Hotel 
and others in Nairobi. But at least now due to the pandemic, we have to do this and we're able to even reach more people, which is also a good thing. Okay, so as my colleagues have already mentioned, the purpose of this particular training is to bring in new voices to uh, internet governance. Why so? Because uh, internet governance encourages what we call multi-stakeholderism. So we want voices from academia, from the business community, from the government representative, and so on and so forth. So it doesn't matter where you are right now, whether you have any knowledge on internet governance or not, or internet, uh, you have to start. And this is where you start. As you had, my senior Walu said, he did start just like this 15 years ago. So uh, today, we hope that we are beginning a journey. We are triggering a journey in your life that will bring in new and strong voices in matters, internet policy, and internet governance. Okay, so if you can hear me, I just wanted to request if each one of you could post through the chat, if you could post your, your profession. I just want to understand the, uh, the background of the kind of uh, uh, professionals that we have here. So just type in on the chat, uh, let's see it, and then we can, uh, then we can continue. Thank you, Mugo, law student at KU, School of Law, amazing. So we also hope that you're going to make new friends. We've already shared a link for WhatsApp. Uh, make sure that you join the group. Uh, please mute your mic so that we, we don't get the echo. Okay, wonderful. I can see more and more people. Uh, uh, ICT4D consultant, thank you, advocate, journalist and blogger, a prosecutor, Becky, pleasure to have you around, IT consultant, Tuahir, Sarah, communication and ad advocacy, gender and development student, Sylvester, pleasure, advocate, lawyer, IT, JC, amazing. Journalist, communication and PR, lawyer, electrical engineering, amazing, IT student at Jomo Kenyatta, web developer, digital lead, advocate, legal. So people from techie, people from law, finance, fintech, amazing, amazing. Yeah, by the way, and you can also share your LinkedIn, just like Selena did. Wonderful, Selena, Data and Innovation Lead at the Lawyers Hub. Good to have you around. We know freelance journalist, amazing, good stuff, marketer, Joel Karibu Sana. Law student and legal assistant, Asiko Karibu, QA engineer, Karibu John. Okay, okay, this is amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Dennis, Radio Communication Engineer, Ministry of ICT. Thank you, Information Security, Basil. Okay, Karibu Nisana. So people are also sharing their, their, their LinkedIn uh, links. Uh, so let's, uh, let's make new friends. Let's create this network. Uh, make sure to, to follow each other. Okay, so generally, uh, I'm going to take you through uh, I'm going to take you through our learning management system. In ICTs, we, we normally call this just as LMS, learning management system. Our learning management system, is a common uh, or popular learning management system uh, that is open source, it's called Moodle. In ICTs, when we say open source, it means that the software is free to download, to use, and to even modify. So our learning management system is called Moodle. Mm -hmm. Let me just use Notepad. 
to do the right, okay. So, uh, Moodle is used by many learning institution. Uh, almost all universities use Moodle because it's a powerful uh, learning management system. So most of you, if you are uh, in campus already, most likely you've used Moodle. So I'm going to take you through uh, the interface, the interface of Moodle. So just a walk around so that you can be able to understand. Uh, then I'm going to take you through the lessons. How do you look at the lessons? Then how do you do or participate in forum chats? Forum, forum chats and assignments. Assignments, assignments. So I, I just, by the end, by the end of my session, uh, you should be able to at least know how to access Moodle. Okay, sorry about that. Please mute your mic. Sorry about that. Please. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to access it. Then the, I'm going to take you through the interface and how to log in. Then I'm going to show you uh, your class and how to explore the lessons and the forum chats and the assignments. Okay. So let's begin uh, to access Moodle. Let me just. Okay, so you can access Moodle in one of two ways. The, the first way is by accessing this website. This website is called the KIGF website. KIGF stands for Kenya Internet Governance Forum, which is the premier uh, uh, internet policy discussion forum in Kenya and beyond. So normally, globally, we have a, a global IGF uh, yearly, annually. And in Kenya, we also have a local one. Uh, so this year's event will be taking place from, uh, will be taking place from uh, 23rd, uh, on 23rd, Thursday, 23rd September, 2021. So if you access this site, kigf.or.ke, you can be able to access our learning management system by coming on the top menu here, then coming to KSIG, then KSIG 2021, if you want to get the details and the program, or you can also come here at KSIG e-learning. So if you click on KSIG e-learning, then it's going to take you to our online uh, learning system. So uh, you can also type in this particular URL uh, on our on our on our site on your on your browser. So the URL is elearning.kigf.or.ke. So if you type in that and you press enter, it should be able to bring you here. When you access the online portal, you'll be uh, the first page you access is the login page, as you can see here. If you don't see this, then the interface that you're gonna get is this one that we are seeing here. So in case you get this one, then how to log in is by accessing this login link at the top left corner here, here, top right really. So you just click on this and it's gonna load uh, the login, the login form. Okay, so, I have already created accounts for you. Uh, your username will be your email. Your username is your email and your password is pass1234. So let me just do that. So your password is capital P, pass1234. So your username is your email then your password is pass1234. So I want to give you uh, just two minutes to access our e-learning portal and log in. So your username is your email. 
email address. So here you enter your email, email address. Then here you enter capital P A S S one two three four. So let's try. Let's try and log in. Let's see what we get. Um, Jesse, Jesse, you're here. Uh, for Jesse, your password is this. Uh, your password is different. Just for Jesse alone, it has an at like that. So for Jesse, your password is pass at one, two, three, four. So let's try and log in. I want to see how many have been able to log in. Okay, let me also go through the charts. In case you have a question, let me know. Uh, invalid login for Alex. Nice logged in. Okay. Okay. A few of you maybe might experience some problem. If you if you are unable to log in, don't worry. I'll spend some time uh, after this particular induction training uh, to sort you out. So don't worry, you will just have maybe to follow through, but I would have loved if most of us will be able to, uh, to, to log in. Okay. Uh, Twahir, you, you actually don't need an enrollment key. I'll, I'll add you to the, to the course. Okay, so most people are logging in successfully. This is wonderful. Jesse, did your password work? The one I just showed you. Yes, it did. I'm logged Yes, Jesse. Okay. Okay. Wonderful, Jesse. Glad, glad that it has worked. Okay. So at this point, I'll also log into my account with my username yeah. and my password. Yes. Morning, Baraka. How are you? Lois. Yes. We can hear you. Okay. Please mute your mic when you're not using it, but if you need to use it, feel free to unmute and uh, interrupt me or ask a question. Okay, so let me log in. So you log in by entering your password, then you click on login. I'm glad that most of you have been able to log in. Please make sure that you log in so that you are able to follow through together with me. Okay. Excuse me. Yes, please. Yes, my name is Immaculate. Yes, Immaculate. Sorry, I've joined the meeting late. I don't know if you could take me through the process of logging in. Or oh, if... wonderful, wonderful. Yes. No problem. Uh, Immaculate, okay. just type in uh, this address on your browser, elearning.kigf.or.ke. So on your browser, you can type elearning.kigf.or.ke like that. Then your username is your email address. Email address. Your password is pass1234 like that.
Uh, sorry, I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, the past one, two, three, four, is it all under case? Any spaces? Because I'm not able to log in. And or I'm not P. sure if I'm doing it correctly. Okay, just try it again slowly. Uh, make sure you use the uh, make sure you use the the email address that you use during registration. Then password is uppercase P. Then the rest is lowercase, no space. Uppercase P. The rest is lowercase, no space. Thank you. Noted. So you, the, what's the password? The password is pass one, two, three, four. Uppercase P. Okay. The username is your email address. To access it, you go to e-learning, you type on your address bar elearning.kigf.or.ke. Okay, thank you. I've logged in. Okay, amazing. Okay. I'm unable to log in. I don't know what's the problem, but I, and I followed the instructions. Mm -hmm. What what error message do you get when you try to log in? Unable to log in. Invalid login. Please try again. Oh, are you sure you're using your your email address, the one that you used to register? Yes. Okay. Just a moment. Yes. Sorry, Judy. Okay, let me let me try and do that. Okay, yeah, just excuse me. I think there's something happening with my mouse cursor. I can't be able to see it. So let me just sort that out in a, in a few. Uh -huh. Okay. Let me see. So you see, not being light. Do we log in like uh, we say, what's the password? The password is one, two, pass one, two, three, four. Check on the, on the chat. Pass one, two, three, four. Yes, uppercase P. Okay, I'm not able to log in. Thank you. Wow. Okay. Uh, Judy. Judy. Judy, if you can hear me. Yes, 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 teacher Chris. Okay, kindly allow me to drop off. Okay. I, I can't be able to see my mouse cursor and I, I really can't function with that. Allow me to drop off and then join uh, so that I can All right. I, I can be able to see it. I apologize. In the meantime, keep trying right, to uh, to log in so that we can we can move on together. Teacher right. Chris, don't worry, we'll hold fort. Okay, thank you. It's called Moodle. It's usually uh, encrypted by default, even, even without an SSL. So it is safe, it cannot be hacked, your data is safe, but we will, we will work to, to convert this thing to SSL in the due course of the day. So I think that uh, answers this, that issue. Eh? 
Okay, okay, Kibuva. Thank you. Thank we'll, you. We will record back. We will redirect you to the accepted link. Ah, yeah. Hi, Asante Kivuwa. So I, I think we can now proceed. So I hope you've logged in and when you log in, you see something like this. Let me just change my role to Elana so that we, we can be able to, to see the same thing. I hope to finish in the next 20 minutes. Uh, okay, okay. Okay, so this is Moodle. Uh, uh, again, as we've said to access Moodle, uh, our learning management system, that is the address you have to type on your browser. Now, Moodle is uh, a web application that is, uh, the interface is designed into rows and columns. So on the very top row here, uh, we have uh, what you call the hamburger icon. This hamburger icon is used to either hide or reveal this section. This section here, I'll be referring to it as the side menu. Then whatever follows here is just the title. So the title there is KCG Learning. On the other side, on the far right, top right, we have the bell icon. The bell icon is used for, the bell icon, mm, just a moment. Please mute your mic, you're disrupting us. Kindly mute your mic. Sorry about that. Okay. So the bell icon for notifications, it will uh, remind you if you're having some uh, assignments or forum discussions that you're supposed to uh, complete, then this is the messaging icon so you can be able to chat us, for example, uh, and chat your friends through that. Then whatever now you get here is your name uh, and your profile picture. And we have this car, uh, uh, car, uh, arrow that is pointing down that uh, you click in order to be able to change your details and do some other stuff. OK, so the other bit uh on moodle is this part so this part has the side menu this part has the side menu when you click on uh, a particular uh, side menu then its color is blue like we can see right now we are on the dashboard and whatever comes under that is uh, displayed here whatever comes under that is displayed here as you can see so for example, you can see you are recently accessed courses and you can be able to click on it, uh, that particular course in order to access it. You also see the timeline. So this will also remind you of assignments and uh, assignments and also forum chats that you're supposed to complete. Okay, so the other bit uh, here is uh, site home. You click on site home when you want to go into a particular course. I'm just going to show you that in a, in a moment. Then we have calendar where you see the deadlines. Then we have private files. You can be able to uh, upload, for example, your assignments under private files, then submit them later. Then uh, the most important bit is under my courses, you're going to see the course that you're enrolled into. And particularly, uh, you're going to see IG underscore 2021. So you're not going to see 2020, you're going to see 2021. Uh, so that is what you're going to see. And then you're also not going to see site admi administration because you're not an administrator. So uh, how you can be able to access your, your course is by clicking on IG underscore 21 here under my courses, or you can come to site home you click on site home here, and then you click on internet governance course. So those are the two ways which you can use to access your course. So please click on either of them, either site home then here, or on this site menu, you just click on IG underscore 2021. So click on one of them. So I'm waiting for you to click on it.
So before parliament. Uh, Okay. Uh, Please mute uh, your mic. Uh, John, yeah. <laughs> so the course is structured into lessons. Uh, we actually have uh, six, a total of six lessons. Then we also have forum discussions where you're supposed to exchange ideas. Uh, okay, let me just mute Immaculate and Marion. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, so uh, we have about six lessons. Then we have forum discussions. Each lesson has a forum discussion. A forum discussion simply is a, a, a general thinking question that you're asked in order to exchange ideas, not just uh, with yourself, but also with others. So that is what we call the forum discussion. And we also have assignments. So we have uh, about six assignments. And finally, you're going to have a quiz. So the quiz, uh, we just have a, a, a one one final quiz. So that's how the course is uh, structured. Hello, Kadir, sir. Yes. Hello, Malemo. You can yes. try to admit the people in the waiting room. If oh. there's people in the waiting room, you can try to admit them. OK, OK. I, I have been admitting them. I don't think there's other, any other person. Faida, do you have a question? I can see you have raised your hand. I still can log in. Oh, no problem. If you can't be able to log in, uh, just hold on. Uh, we can complete the training. You just follow through. We are recording so you can be able to uh, follow up on our YouTube channel. Uh, I'll sort you after we after I'm done in the next 15 minutes. Is that OK? OK. OK, sorry about that. OK, so uh, generally, we have um, uh, we, we grade the forum discussions, uh, the assignments. Uh, so the forum discussion and the assignments, they'll be graded, graded to 30%. Then the final quiz, the final quiz will be graded uh, at uh, 70%, like that. Uh, generally, we expect you to uh, score. 60% in order to get a certificate of completion. So you have to, uh, you really have to take time to participate on the forum discussions and to complete your assignments during uh, the set deadline in order to be able to, to achieve this. Okay, so uh, at this point, I want to take you through uh, this course now after you've clicked inside. So, before I even go there, I, I, I want you to click on this icon here, uh, the drop down arrow, or just on your, this drop down arrow. So when you click on it, you're going to get, uh, you're going to get this menu items, profile, grades, messages, preferences, like that. So you can just click on profile. So when you click on profile, uh, you can be able to confirm, for example, your email address. And here at this point, you can be able to edit your profile. So if you click on edit profile here, you can, for example, change your username. You really don't have to do that, but you can be able to change your password here. If you want to change your password, you can change it in case your first name or surname is mistyped or misplaced, you can also change it here. Uh, so other than that, what I want you to do now is scroll to the bottom to the section where it is titled user picture. I want you to upload a professional looking mugshot of yourself uh, uh, to use it as the profile picture. We encourage you to do that just now because we might use that picture 
during the awarding ceremony on the Kenya Internet Governance Forum, which will also be partly virtual. So please upload a profile photo. I just want to see how many people will be able to upload a profile photo uh, 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 through, through that. So again, in order to upload a profile photo, you can click on this drop down, then you click on profile. Then you click on profile, then you click on edit profile under user okay. details. User details, Excellent. edit profile. Uh, does anyone have a question? Excellent. Yeah. Okay, yes, go ahead, please. Sue. I'm on the I'm on the profile. Uh -huh. uh, how do I change the photo, please? I've missed that kindly. Okay, you, you scroll down. After after you've clicked on edit profile, did you click on you click on profile? Mm -hmm. Then you click on edit profile here. Uh -huh. You have to click on this edit profile. So uh -huh. after you're done, after you click on it, you mm -hmm. scroll down to user picture. You scroll, is it okay. scrolling up or scrolling down? Scroll all the way to this section here. Mm -hmm. So after you get here, you just drag mm -hmm. and drop, drag and drop your, your photo here. Okay. So after you're done, make sure to scroll down and click on update profile. So you have to click on update profile for your uh, photo to be saved. Okay, so let me let me just check how many of you have been able to do so. You can access your course by clicking on the side menu IG 2021. If you can see the side menu, then you click on the hamburger icon on the top left. So as you can see, the hamburger icon on the top left is either used to reveal or hide the side menu. So if you can't see it, you just click on it to reveal it. Then you click on IG 2021. Okay, I'll just come to the second menu option here, participants, to see those ones that have been able to upload their profile. Thank you, Bridget, Andere, Stephanie. You can see Stephanie has it. So all these others haven't uploaded their profile yet. Please upload. Upload a nice looking photo of yourself. Thank you, David. Thank you, Dennis Omido. Thank you, Jesse. Should I repeat? I can see most of the people haven't haven't done this. Thank you, Lillian, Kogi, George. Thank you. Thank you, Joel. Thank you, Lois. Thank you, Crispine. So please upload. Thank you, Regina Opondo. Thank you, Sylvia. Okay, thank you. So please uh, uh, upload your profile photo. Again, you go to the top right. You click on that drop down arrow there. On the drop down menu, click on profile. Then click on edit profile under user details section. Edit profile, then scroll down to the user picture section. Then a drag and drop a photo here. If you don't want to drag and drop, you can also click on this icon here, the add icon here to add a file. Then click on upload file, then click on choose file. So this will open up, this will open up your, your, your computer location. You can navigate to where your photo is. You double click it. Then you click on upload this file. Then after that, please remember to click on update profile at the very bottom, update profile. So that's how you, that's how you upload a profile photo. Please make sure you do that. Okay. So 
Uh, let me now take you through uh, the different sections we have here. Uh, the very first part we have at the top is for the general, uh, general stuff. So for example, we have the program, the CASIC program here. We have the program. Then we have uh, the introduction. This is just a lesson about the introduction of the course. It's actually the course outline. If you want to know about the course, then you have to go through this. Then also we have um, a link to the portal induction training for last year. So the same training I'm doing uh, to you right now. So if you click on this, you'll be able to watch that video. Then we have a forum. Uh, uh, we have a forum uh, where you're supposed to introduce yourself to tell us a bit about yourself so that you can know each other. So that's a forum discussion. Now, as you can see, uh, here we have a column titled your progress, your progress, and we have uh, these check boxes. For example, you can see this one, the last one is checked. Uh, so some check boxes have uh, borders that are dotted, others are complete. If they're complete, it means for you to complete that action, you have to click on it. You have to check it uh, to show that you've, you've seen that particular content. For others like introduction, uh, this one here, you can see introduction has uh, dotted borders. So for this one, you have to do something in order for it to be automatically marked as complete. So for example, for this, because it's a lesson, you have to go through it. You have to read it uh, for the system to mark it as complete. But if it has a complete border, then you can just check it by clicking on it. Otherwise, for example, for introduce yourself here, this forum discussion, you have to introduce yourself for this particular section to mark itself as complete. And uh, so that's how we are able to track whether you are you're, you're active uh, on the on the system because we are able to look at the uh, report. Okay, so for example, right now I want us to introduce ourselves through this particular through this particular uh, 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 forum chat. So how to do that? You just click on it, introduce yourself like that then you'll be able to click on reply here. So you click on reply. So after you click on reply, you can tell us, uh, for example, my name is Kelvin Kariuki. You can also call me teacher Karis, like that. Uh, and say, for example, I teach at multimedia University of Kenya in the Faculty of Computing and Information Technology. Glad to be here, hoping to learn a lot on internet governance. Okay, so after you, you've typed something, you just click on submit like that. So that is how you participate on a, on a forum discussion. So you just click on reply. So for you, you have to click on reply. So let's try and introduce ourselves and then we see how that is going to come up. Please introduce yourself. I'm giving you a minute to introduce yourselves.
Okay, again, how to introduce yourself. You, you need to be inside your course. To be inside your course, you need to click on the IG uh, 2020. Let me go back to 2021. Okay. So how to go into your course again? You click on IG underscore 2021 like that. And then on the top section here, we have introduce yourself. So you can click on it. Then you click on reply. You click on reply here. So you can see Caroline has introduced herself. Crispine, Lois, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Amazing, amazing. This is good. So keep on introducing yourselves there. Let me see how many will be able to introduce themselves. So that's good. Okay, so we have lesson one. We have lesson one, as you can see. Uh, we have lesson one here. Then we have lesson one forum chat. As you can see, you won't be able to see it for now because it's, it's hidden on your end. We have lesson one assignment. So you also can't be able to, to see it for now. Eh? Okay, but for a lesson, if you click on lesson one, then how do you, how do you go through it? How you go through it is by, is by reading, you read, whatever is there. Then we also have links to external resources. For example, history.com, which you might be required to go and look at. So for example, here in a more detailed paper titled, Brief History of the Internet. So you might be expected to open this link on a new tab in order to go through that content. So the lessons might look a little bit short, but it requires you to also utilize other resources like watch this video uh, to see and listen to Dr. Vint Sat and colleagues on how the internet evolved. So you might need to open that video in order to uh, be able to understand that part well. So after you, you're done with that part, you click on go to next page like that. You click on go to next page. Then you read again, then you go to next page like that. Uh, so that's how you that's how you go through the lessons by accessing uh, it and going one by one. You can also use this lesson menu here to jump into uh, particular subsections uh, that you may want, for example, to review if you don't want to click on go to next page. So that's how you that's how you go through your lessons. Anyone with a question up to this point? Anyone with a question? Anyone with a question? Okay, so just as an example, uh, for the forum chat, you see, you'll be asked, for example, what is the origin of the internet? Uh, explain it to a layman. So we just want a discussion on your understanding of what you've learned on lesson one. Uh, we want you to tell us what the internet is according to your understanding. And that is what we've covered in lesson one. So that's how we design the forum chat. Okay, then the assignment. So the assignment, normally we cap them uh, to a maximum, for example, of 200 words or so. So short, short answers. Eh? For, for example, do you think the internet origin which is the US makes a difference on how it has played out. What do you think would have been different if the internet originated in Europe or China? So you see, that is the assignment for lesson one. So again, you must have gotten some, some things from lesson one. And that's why that question focuses on what you've learned there. So we have six others. So we have lesson two, lesson three, four, five, and six. And finally, we have a quiz. So for the assignment, um, for the assignment, if you want to do an assignment, you just click on it. Uh, for me, 
Let me see, let me turn my role to a student. Plan. Okay. Okay, uh, I've already set the, the dates from which you can be able to submit this assignment as Monday 20th September. So I can't be able to, to show you right now how you, you can submit unless I change this date. Let me just try and do that because I think it's important. But you, you can see that you, you'll be shown from when you can be able to uh, 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 do that assignment and also the due date. When we grade it, you'll also see the marks that you've scored on that particular uh, assignment. And you can also see the time remaining uh, to the deadline. So that's what you'll see. Okay, so let me just edit this uh, access time. Just a moment. Okay, so you can see uh, at the very bottom, you should see add submission. So how to submit your assignment is by clicking on this button, add submission. So you can see the notice you have not made a submission yet. So you scroll down, you read the question, you scroll down, then you click on add submission. After you've clicked on that, uh, for most assignments, submissions are type in, meaning you're not uploading any document, you're just typing some text to answer that question. So after you're done typing, you click on save changes. So that's how you submit your assignments. Assignments have deadlines, so be keen so that you, you don't submit when, when it's uh, past the deadline, because we're also supposed to grade you. Okay, so from the previous training, we collected feedback. Uh, okay, other, other than this four, okay, let me just mute Kennedy. Okay. Kennedy, please mute your mic. Kennedy, if you can hear me. Judy, am I audible? Can you hear me, Judy? Can hear you. Okay, okay, wonderful. Thank you. Hi. I can hear you. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, so other than doing the assignment, the forum discussion, and the quiz, you are also expected. You are also expected to attend what we call the industry, attend the industry, the industry talks. So I'm going to tell you about the Casey Greek. Industry talks will be from 11 a.m. to noon. So here 
we we invite an expert, an industry expert, uh, to talk to you uh, online. So you'll be joining on online on Zoom in order to listen in and also contribute because it's going to be a discussion uh, so that you can understand more what you've read on your own online. Other than that, you'll also be expected to attend and participate actively, participate uh, on the Kenya Internet Governance Forum. Kenya Internet Governance Forum, KIGF. So these are the other things that you're supposed to do. During the KIGF, this is when we will award you. This is when we will award you. Now, because we listened last time, we have decided to open up the lessons a little bit earlier. Before, KSIG was running for three days. So that is what we did last year. But uh, the learners uh, gave us feedback and they told us that it was quite a lot because most of them were also working at the same time. So they requested if in future we could open up the lessons earlier. So this year we are opening up the lessons from today. So you can be able to explore the lessons from today. Then uh, the forum discussions, we will open them up from next week on Monday. But for the assignments, you'll have to do them during the KC week. So when you talk about that, what do we mean? Um, where is my calendar? Okay. Here. Okay, so uh, today is 10th. The KC week is uh, this week. So really, KSIG ends, KSIG ends here on 22nd. Then on 23rd, on 23rd, we have the Kenya Internet Governance Forum. So we are saying that the whole of next week, you can be able to access the lessons and participate on the forum discussion. Uh, and from today, you can be able to access the lessons. So you have more time, you have five days. Then within these three days, 20th, 21st, and 22nd, you can now be able to do the assignments. Uh, so those are the, the timelines that you, that you have. So please, for the industry talks, block your 20th to 22nd. Actually, it's to 23rd, because you also have to participate you have to participate on uh, I'm unable to mute this uh, Kennedy. Kennedy, if you can hear us, please allow me to remove you and then maybe you can join in. Okay, now your mic is muted, sorry about that. Okay, so please, ladies and gentlemen, block your 20th to 23rd. Uh, because you'll be busy with uh, the assignments, the industry talk, and finally, the Kenya Internet Governance Forum. Okay. So anyone with a question? Anyone with a question? I have a question, Karenki. Yes, please. please forgive my, my, my too noisy <laughs> background. I'm working from home. My name is okay. Anne Mawa. Yes. Sir. And the question I have is that <laughs> whether <laughs> there will be opportunities uh, for plenaries where we can learn from each other, because I know as much as we are joined by the fact that you're passionate about internet governance, we come from different faculties and... Mm. Exactly. So I was just looking for um, a plenary where maybe we can learn about best practices that other people in, in different sectors are using that to really add value. 
Ah, I think that's a, that's a good suggestion. I'm sure Judy has captured it. We will see how we can be able to incorporate that during the KCIG week. Maybe just before the, uh, just before the industry discussions or after the industry discussions. So thank you for that suggestion, Maua. Okay, Kamau. Good morning. Good morning to you, Mr. Irungu. Uh, I, I, I think I missed the, uh -huh. the class discussion component. I figured out how to log in when, it, when I was late, so I, I've been behind. I, I think I missed the class discussion. Oh. Uh, you do a demo. The, the discussion forum. Yes, yes, how to go about that one. Okay, I, I can just go over it again quickly. So for any discussion forum, you, for example, introduce yourself. You can just click on, this one is also a discussion forum. Then you click on reply. So that's one way. The other one, for example, for the lessons, you can click on lesson one forum chat. Then you'll read the question. Then you click on add a new discussion topic. Then for example, you can enter the subject as your name, then the message. That is what you want to, what you want to contribute to that particular discussion. You can also, after people have posted, you can also reply to their input. So if some, after someone has posted to the forum, you can also reply to their, to their input. So that is what we call the, the forum chat. So that's how that is done, Mr. Kamau. Thank you. Okay. We're also going to give you a, a, a link to, actually it's here. The link is here on the portal. So you can access this link and watch the YouTube video of uh, how to use this portal, just in case you came in late, okay? Uh, so, Tahir, you have a question? Okay, for the forum discussions. Mm -hmm. I think that they're all uh, they're part of the cuts. Does it mean that we have to initiate a discussion or or even for you replying uh, to, to, to whatever someone else has posted, uh -huh. that counts? Uh, uh, most important is you, you also post your idea, but you contribute also to at least one other person's uh, discussion. So at least one contribution per module, yes. per lesson? Okay. For every lesson, yes. Thank you, thank you. Okay, anyone else with a question or a comment, by the way? I understand that um, internet bundles might be provided for, for you. Maybe I'll let Judy or Rosemary uh, give more details about that uh, when I'm done in the next two minutes. Yes, Oyer? Yeah, hi. Hi, Mr. Karis. Hi, how are you? Fine, thank you. Um, you had talked about the, the boxes um, completing once you do something. Sorry? So I'm looking at you had talked about the boxes completing on the your progress oh, part. Yes, 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 yes. So I have I have the I've done the introduction, uh -huh. but I do not seem to see uh, the, the box has not completed it has not itself. Been so I'm wondering it has not been checked like this. It has been checked, but it yeah, has that's... it still has the oh sorry, sorry. Maybe maybe I didn't explain very well. When it's okay. unchecked it means you've not done it. When it's checked, okay. it means you've done it. Check. I've got it. Uh, got the it. the difference you. between uh, this checkbox that has a complete border and the one that has incomplete or dotted borders is that for this one, you have mm -hmm. to check it manually. You, you okay. have to click on it. Like I can click on lesson one, tack, to say that I have done it. You see? Okay. But for this one, for forum chat, I can't be able to do it. I have okay. to at least post one reply or post one discussion for it to be marked as complete. I get it now. Okay, wonderful. Thank, thank you. you, thank you. Okay. I Irungu, Mr. Irungu, you, you have another question before we go to Kipsang, Christine? Uh, I, I, I couldn't <laughs> find <laughs> the reply option in the class option. Oh, in the introduction? Or do I just want that? Are you sure? No, no, no. You know, we, on my end, I couldn't find the, you see in lesson one, 
the discussion component where I'm supposed to reply or start a discussion. Or oh, under lesson one. lesson one. So I just have lesson one, I have nothing. Yes, yes, yes. And that is because we've yeah. uh, we've not allowed you to, to view lesson one forum chat and uh, oh. lesson one assignment. So we will oh, be enabling oh. this within the course of next week and the following week. So for now, you can't be able to see them. Okay. Okay. So you can't be able to contribute. That's the reason why. So right now, you, you'll only see lesson one. OK. Uh, Christine? Yes, thank you, teacher. Karyuki, how are you? Mzuri sana. OK, my uh, issue is the issue of grading. Yes. What is the criteria used for grading and will you be able to see our marks before you can do a second or third attempt the same lesson? <laughs> okay, we, we will try and grade by every evening your, uh, uh, your, your forum discussions and uh, the assignments. So forum discussions, it's out of five marks, assignments out of 10 marks, but for, from forum discussions and assignments, you're going to get a total of 30, 30 marks. Then from the final quiz, 70 marks. So indeed, yes, you, you will be able to see your grade for uh, every assignment, but I don't think you'll be able to see it for, for the forum chat discussion. Is, uh, okay, uh, sorry, uh, just a follow up. Uh -huh. um, uh, what is the question? Uh, when when somebody uh, contributes to the forum question, uh -huh. uh, will you get more marks if you have to respond to each and every person what they have replied? I can see no. that eighty one. Yeah. No, you you yeah. don't have to respond. Oh, your answer to... is adequate. Yeah, you don't have to respond to everyone. You can just respond to. We just want you to to see how other people are responding to the same question, and maybe also add something but not to everyone, just one or two. So it's, it's, just, it's just an exchange, an exchange forum where people can freely discuss their thoughts. Okay, thank you. Yeah, but you don't have to, you, you just have to post yours. You post yours, then you reply to at least one person. Uh, maybe teacher Karis, I can jump in at this point. Yes, uh, guys, Rosemary. let's make sure that as we do this, let's have fun. Let's, uh, <laughs> don't let the fears of grading take away the fun in learning. <laughs> let's way. have fun while we are still learning. <laughs> Maria, we see that you're leaving, not to worry. Hmm? Okay. okay, so Thank guys, let's, let's much, enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, last year we had, uh, I think, 44 participants. All the 43 that were active they, they, they actually pass. So there's nothing to fear, really, as Rosemary says it. We, we just want you to have fun as you learn and also exchange ideas. OK, Irungu, lastly, as I wind up now. Uh, is there an option to tag, tag, for instance, like what we do in Twitter or on Facebook? So because we are 81, and I like, I like something that three or four other people have said, uh -huh. Can I respond in my response and then tag all of them? Then we mm -hmm. have that discussion there instead of having to go to the four of them's responses and responding there. Uh, I don't know uh, if I clarify that communicating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you have. I'm not sure whether you can be able to tag, but in responding, for example, you mm -hmm. see Christine has introduced herself here. So mm -hmm. I, I can click on reply, for example. Then mm -hmm. I can I can say for example glad to meet you <coughs> to meet you Christine. Mm -hmm. So I, I think that's how that's how you'll be you'll be responding to other people's uh, forum forum discussion. So if I if I like, reply. but you can't tag. Like what, yeah. So if I like what you and two others have talked about. Uh -huh. in, in, in terms of a discussion, a class, a forum discussion. So you have to reply on each person individually. So is it possible to have no. it in such a way that I can have a discussion where I now tag the four of you in my response? No, no, no. So you can't do so tagging. You can't. The answer is you can't do tagging. Okay. 
Yes. Yeah. Swahir? Sorry, just okay, to help out Kam Kamau. Okay. Sorry, just to help out Kamau. Yes. Yes, Judy. Probably, yeah. uh, probably you can just, um, you know, the way you do at uh, Caris, at Christine, at. Yes, yes, you know? that's what I meant. Yes, so you can add that to the text. notification. Yeah, that's what I meant. Can, can I do that so that we have a notification and then they come and we now have the discussion, the four mm, of us. I understand what you're saying. They might not, they might <laughs> not have they the can't. notification. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you can just add it there so that it is seen that you are res you are responding to so and so, so and so, so and so's remarks. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Okay. Yes, to ahead. I think just to add on to what uh, Irungu was saying, uh -huh. I think unless uh, unless they are actually on the same thread, you cannot do what he is saying that you can, uh, okay. what uh -huh. he's asking about. Uh -huh. But if it's on the same thread, then uh, as whoever was in the, on the thread, they will get a notification. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I, I think that will be a good feature. Yeah, maybe I'll go to the Moodle site and give them that idea. I think it should be a wonderful feature you added on Moodle forum discussions. Thank you, Irungu, for that. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I thank you for your active participation. I hope you've understood how to use our e-learning platform. I will be one of your moderators together with Mr. General Lubengo and Judy. So we'll be uh, monitoring your activity on the platform and also supporting you in case you run into any trouble. Thank you for your time. I wish you all the best and I hope you learn. Mm -hmm. And indeed, your voice is going to matter on the internet space going forward. Sakurabi. Back to you, Judy. Yes. Sakurabi. Hello. I Hi. just wanted to ask, um, if you run into a problem, how do we reach you? We, we have the WhatsApp group. We have the oh. WhatsApp group, then, uh, I'll also share my number. Let me just share it here. So you can always WhatsApp me on 0729385557. Oh, because some, some of us, by the way, are not from Kenya. So plus 254. 729385557. In case I don't respond, you can also chat Judy. Judy, you're on. on the WhatsApp group, or you can even send an email to kessig at um, kixanet.or.ke. Karis, are you still there? Yes, yes, Judy. All right, thank you, thank you. All right, Judy, sorry, you I, I, much, I didn't, um, I didn't get your it. question there. No, I can also email us on the CASIC. Okay, okay, on the group, eh? Yes, and even on the, okay. on the email. So thank okay, you very much, okay. everyone. If anyone uh, was having a challenge that sorted, otherwise, um, have a lovely day. Thank you for joining us. Uh, let's keep in touch in the next coming week. We will be checking on your progress. If there is a question, please do not hesitate to ask. Have a lovely day. Okay, bye-bye. So just, just remain behind if you have an issue with login so that we can sort it out. Thank you very much. Asante Nisana, enjoy your weekend. Yes. Okay. Yes, Sue. Is that Sue? one who can add me manually to the WhatsApp group? Asinini, Sue? 
I can't seem to access via the link. So I was wondering if anyone can add me van manually to the WhatsApp. Oh, oh okay. Oh. Click link in a same Oh, you link. must have come late. No, no, no. She must have come late. So the link, the link had already been posted. Do you mind reposting the link? Maybe just now for her. Okay. So yeah, I, think I, yeah. I think I have. I've reposted the link in the chat. Okay. Ah, wonderful. Okay. Asante. Asante, Asante. Asante, Asante. Okay, guys. Bye. See you. All the best. Good morning. Hello? 